In the multicolored world of beauty and cosmetics, where glamour and glitter reign supreme, there's a story that stands out. A tale not just of colors and contours, but of ambition and innovation. It's the story of Too Faced, a brand that transformed from a daring dream in the minds of two visionaries into a billion-dollar beacon in the makeup industry. Too Faced emerged at a time when the makeup scene was monochrome, dominated by safe shades and conventional styles. Into this world, Jeremy Johnson and Jared Blandino stepped in to add a splash of color and redefine the essence of what makeup could be. They didn't just create products, they sparked a revolution, challenging norms and setting new trends. This is the story of how a small idea, born behind the counters of Estee Lauder, blossomed into Too Faced, a brand that reimagined the face of beauty across the globe. In the vibrant and ever-evolving world of cosmetics, two individuals embarked on a journey that would change their lives and leave an indelible mark on the makeup industry. Jeremy Johnson and Jared Blandino weren't just colleagues. They were visionaries united by a common belief that makeup should be fun, expressive, and rule-breaking. With his keen business acumen, Johnson perfectly complemented Blandino's creative genius. Blandino, working behind the counters at Estee Lauder, was known for his innovative approach to makeup, often mixing products to create new textures and colors. His flair for creativity caught many's eye, but his partnership with Johnson turned these creative experiments into a tangible reality. The journey of Too Faced began modestly, with Blandino mixing and experimenting with makeup in his kitchen. These early experiments were the seeds from which Too Faced would grow. The duo's first line of products was a bold statement, a range of glitter-infused eyeshadows, vibrant lipsticks, and nail polishes that defied the then-current trends of muted and natural makeup. Each product reflected their philosophy. Makeup should be fun, expressive, and a form of personal artistry. The brand's philosophy resonated with people seeking ways to express individuality. Too Faced wasn't just selling makeup, it was selling an experience, an emotion. This emotional connection with their audience was what set Too Faced apart in its early days. It wasn't just about looking good, it was about feeling bold and embracing one's unique self. With the birth of their brand, Jeremy Johnson and Jared Blandino were ready to take the makeup world by storm. Their initial product line was a bold declaration of their vision, a fusion of quality and whimsy that was about to shake up the cosmetic counters. Their first offerings included a range of lipsticks, nail polishes, and, notably, eyeshadows that sparkled with the promise of something new and exciting. The glitter eyeshadow stood out as a symbol of their innovative spirit. This glitter eyeshadow, a first of its kind, wasn't just about adding sparkle to the eyes, it was about bringing a new perspective to makeup, encouraging users to shine in their unique way. The role of Sephora and Ulta in Too Faced's journey cannot be overstated. These retail giants were more than just outlets. They were gateways to a world of consumers eager for something different. Sephora, known for its wide array of beauty products, provided Too Faced with a prestigious and far-reaching platform. Ulta, with its blend of high-end and affordable beauty products, offers a diverse customer base. Together, they played a crucial role in expanding Too Faced's reach, introducing the brand to a wider audience and solidifying its place in the competitive beauty market. As Too Faced continued to carve its niche in the beauty industry, the brand became synonymous with innovation and distinctive branding. The development of products like the Lip Injection Gloss and the Quickie Chronicles palette marked a significant milestone in Too Faced's journey. The Lip Injection Gloss, known for its plumping effect, was not just a product but an experience. It offered users more than just color, it promised a fuller, more luscious pout, tapping into the growing trend for fuller lips. On the other hand, the Quickie Chronicles palette was a masterstroke in combining multiple products into one convenient and attractive package. Each palette, a mix of eyeshadows, blushes, and lip glosses, was themed and illustrated turning makeup into a collectible item. But Too Faced's innovation wasn't limited to their products. Their approach to packaging and branding was equally groundbreaking. They understood that packaging could be a powerful differentiator in the crowded beauty market. Their designs were playful, whimsical, and often vintage-inspired, 
resonating with consumers who were looking for beauty products that stood out on their vanity as much as they did on their skin. Perhaps one of the most forward-thinking moves by Too Faced was their early adoption of YouTube and social media for marketing. At a time when many brands were still relying on traditional advertising, Too Faced recognized the potential of digital platforms. They embraced YouTube as a marketing tool and a space to connect with their audience. Their content was personal, relatable, and engaging, setting them apart from the more corporate approach of other brands. The acquisition of Too Faced by Western Presidio marked a significant turning point. This wasn't merely a business transaction, but a catalyst for expansion and innovation. With Western Presidio's investment in 2012, valued at $71.3 million, Too Faced was infused with new capital, propelling the brand into accelerated growth. This influx of funds allowed for broader product development, expanded distribution channels, and enhanced marketing strategies. In 2016, Estee Lauder, a titan in the cosmetics world, acquired Too Faced for a staggering $1.45 billion. This acquisition was more than a financial triumph. It recognized Too Faced's unique position in the market, known for its innovative products and strong connection with a younger consumer base. The move was strategic for Estee Lauder, allowing them to tap into a new demographic and rejuvenate their portfolio with Too Faced's vibrant and youthful energy. The launch of the Hangover skincare line was a bold step into a new domain for Too Faced. Known for their playful and innovative makeup, the brand ventured into skincare, a move that reflected their understanding of the market's pulse. The Hangover skincare line wasn't just another product launch, it was a strategic expansion, broadening its appeal beyond makeup enthusiasts to those seeking quality skincare. Too Faced's marketing strategies also evolved, embracing the digital revolution with open arms. The rise of TikTok and the influencer culture marked a significant shift in how brands connect with their audience. Too Faced, always ahead of the curve, leveraged this shift to their advantage. They collaborated with influencers, not just as promoters but as partners, creating authentic, engaging, and relatable content. This approach helped Too Faced reach a wider, more diverse audience, making their products more accessible and desirable to the digital savvy generation. The impact of the pandemic on digital marketing approaches was profound, and Too Faced navigated these uncharted waters with agility and foresight. As the world moved online, Too Faced doubled down on its digital marketing efforts. Recognizing the pandemic not merely as a challenge but as an opportunity, Too Faced embarked on a journey to connect with its audience in novel and profound ways. Their digital campaigns during this period transcended mere product sales. They became a source of community, comfort, and a touch of normalcy during uncertain times. The departure of founders Jeremy Johnson and Jared Blandino marked a pivotal moment for Too Faced, signaling the end of an era and the dawn of a new one. With a fresh leadership team at the helm, entrusted with upholding the brand's legacy of innovation and boldness, Too Faced entered a transformative phase. A significant stride under this new leadership was the launch of Maison Too Faced, not just a product line, but a resounding declaration of the brand's readiness to embrace challenges and explore new frontiers. It signifies the fusion of core values with fresh perspectives, epitomizing Too Faced's commitment to staying relevant and captivating in a rapidly evolving market. As we wrap up this narrative, it's clear that Too Faced is more than just a makeup brand. It's a testament to the power of creativity, the impact of strategic thinking, and the importance of adapting to change. So what are your thoughts on the Too Faced story? Do you like the brand's products? Your perspectives and reflections are what make these stories richer and more meaningful. So we invite you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below, and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. That's all from this video. See you in the next one.